what's up guys so if you saw the first video you know I talked about how to get your electronic brakes released so you can change your brake pads now these are my old ones I already got them out but um my last video didn't really show every step what it'll look like sound like what you're looking for etc etc so mine is already done i already got the new ones installed everything is back in place all cables are fixed but i'm just gonna show you again just so that you have full detail of how it's gonna look i was trying to keep the video to under three minutes and um, i mean i did but i didn't cover everything so let's go through it so step one you've taken off everything let's just assume tires are out oh yeah that's my baby over there and um you know you got your new brake pad set up let's assume this is new ones this is old ones and um you want to get it out and you've done everything but um you can fit your new ones in because that one retract so here's what you do first thing you do is you're gonna go into your car just like that <laughs> And I'm gonna turn it off and start the whole process from the beginning. Okay, so car is turned off. You're gonna hit the ignition switch right here. One top, boom. Car is on. And while you're on this screen, this is the two buttons that are gonna play a big factor. My hands are dirty. I've been working on the car all day. One, two. So what you're gonna do is hold this two for about five seconds. I do 10 just to be safe. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now once you've held it for ten seconds, you let it go, you hit the home button right here. Now this is applying to the 2019 A220 Mercedes-Benz Formatic. I cannot speak for any other model, but you're welcome to try it because there are different variations of how this will work. Okay, so when you do that, let's let's back out one time. You click home button right here, slide all the way to the left, you're gonna see the workshop screen. Now when you get to the workshop screen, you're gonna hit that, go all the way down to brake replacement. Now what this does is I opened the the um the the, the brake system and I looked at it. There is a bolt in there that screws upwards and downwards depending on if the parking brake is active or not so when you click this button when you say okay move to fit in position it's gonna retract that bolt I don't know if you can hear it but it has retracted the bolts now into fitment position so what that will allow you to do is press the the little piston back in either with a hammer and a rag or you could be more subtle about it and use like a clamp or something. I just use the hammer and the rag, you know. That's all I have at home. I don't have other tools. But um, yeah, that's what happens. And then I'm already done. So when you finish with it, you just come back in here and click OK. And it exits fit in mode. And your parking brake engages. And that's it. You're done. And you just click home. And... Um, that's the end of it. Push the button, brakes, start your car up, and that's about it. And that solves that problem. So I hope this video was helpful. I try to still keep it under five minutes. If you got questions, put them in the description. Not the description, put them in the comments. Bloody hell. Put them in the comments and uh, let's talk about it, okay? All right, you'll be safe.